time to meet a mover. Anne. Hey, are you busy? Hey. <laughs> That's how excited I am to come to my favorite butchery. If you don't know, I've been buying meat oh, yes. from this butchery for yeah. close to a year. So when Anne invited me over, I was like, yes, please, thank you. Anne. Karibu sana, Aime. Karibu. Asante. Karibu sana. introduce your business. Yes, so my company is called Almix Foods Limited. Yeah, we're in the business of meat. Okay, that's what we do. Okay, so we sell uh, retail meat, yeah. uh, poultry, beef, lamb, goat, and uh, processed meat. Okay, so any can... game meat? Can I get an anaconda? My anaconda don't. No, I mean, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. No, I have to ask. Yeah? I'm a very adventurous foodie. Me, no I didn't say anything. So, no. okay, so no anacondas here, yeah. so we are clear. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, no. mm. Only quality, quality meat. And when did you start this business? Uh, we started during Corona. There's a Corona baby. Oh. Yes. The, the businesses I was running before sort of like collapsed. Okay, so yeah. you did study meat. No, I did not, but, but, but I'm a fan of meat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My main strength primarily is in setting up processes, systems and controls for retail outlets. I have a couple of years of experience. So primarily what I've done with the shop is I want to give my customer a very good experience. So when they come to the shop, the way the shop looks, the way they are dressed, the way we are dressed, um, and just primarily how they are handled, they leave the space very happy. When you have a kanchi, what comes to your mind? I mean, gubono. Gubono. <laughs> That can chicken for Kaushai. Yeah, so we've partnered with Kenchik uh, to execute their farm to fork concept. So we are bringing the same amazing chicken to your table. And mm -hmm. why couldn't the butcher reach the meat? Okay, I need help. <laughs> because the stakes were too high. <laughs> Yeah, so growing up, kukuiki chinja imepikwa, that's the kadram, the kadram stick is what you want to eat. Yes. But then that's that's not your cut. Oh, it's you can't touch it. That's yeah. for the head of the family. Okay. So you can choose all the other parts, but you can't have the drumstick. So I never got over that um, trauma. <laughs> Fear women. You <laughs> nyima woman a drumstick. She opens a butcher. <laughs> And I love that you've said it was a no-brainer when the opportunity presented itself. So yes. to movers who are keen on running such a business, yes. how do you start? And if you want to start such a business, uh, because you can't, you have to decide where you want to play. Yeah. Um, which is why we are associated with Kenshi, because that's where we decided we want to play. So there's a whole supply chain between where the meat comes from, yeah. whoever grows the meat, whoever uh, slaughters the meat, and then there's who sells it to you, yes. the consumer to consume it. So where do you want to play? To start, you, you need a bit of investment because the equipment is not cheap. Okay. Uh, getting the business off the ground is also not cheap okay. because you're selling uh, perishable goods. And then I have to think about rent, I have to think about uh, human yes. resource because yes. I can see you have some nice staff members. Over Correct, here. yeah. And then of course purchasing the... Uh, the this is part themselves. of the equipment, uh, or oh, the stock. Yes, the yes. stock. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So give stock is cash actually. Okay. Uh, it's a cash business. Mm -hmm. It's actually an informal market. I'm interested in this business because I'm hoping I can formalize it. What you also need to consider, Ivy, is who your target market is. Who are you targeting to be your customers? So if you want high-end customers, then that will influence the location that you get. For you to be able to serve the Muslim community, you need to work with halal certified suppliers. So that will obviously influence the kind of suppliers you bring on board. So Ivy, mm -hmm. did you hear Brio failed the exam for Butcher School? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Like, I don't know. I don't know what's coming. When I'm excited, because it didn't make the cut. <laughs> what else do I need uh, to consider? Anne? Yeah. So fit out. You need to fit out the place. Okay. Uh, what is fitting out? What does that mean? Uh, sort of like like the ambience of the place. Mm, yes. Guys, this place smells like. 
flowers and daisies. You can't tell you're in a butchery. It's speak and span. I'm yeah. telling you, it's my first time here and I am I'm happy. You've trusted us. You've always been buying online. Always, always, always. Oh, okay. But that's why the business is, <laughs> yeah. businesses are moving Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Okay, so Anne, why should we trust your business? Um, so number one, uh, my partners uh, have been in the business for a really long time. They've perfected the craft. So the quality of meat you find here is, is top notch. So in partners we're speaking about Kenshin. Kenshin, yes. Fantastic. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah. They are consistent. Yeah. They deliver to us because we are their partners. They deliver to us daily. Okay. So you're, you're sure that the chicken you buy from here or the meat you buy from here is delivered daily to us. Yeah. When Anne approached me, she said, Ivy, you like this product because I see you. You don't like being in the kitchen. You don't like spending time there. And it's quick cut. So she said, I'm going to get you pre-marinated chicken. Guys, I yes. literally threw that chicken in the oven for 45 is. minutes and it was done. Came out so tasty. And didn't I buy chicken the next day? <laughs> you did. I did for barbecue. In December, I was just buying meat from Anne. I was like, Anne, this is fantastic. What is this so, marinade? So yes. we have marinations, yeah. but we don't pre-marinate. Okay. We, 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 we're not trying to mask anything. Yeah. So you come, you choose your cut, yeah. okay. and then you choose your marinade. What I sent you was barbecue. Mm. Yeah, it's one of my favorites too. Um, yes. So you delicious. put it in the oven yeah. and then you just tan tan, da 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 da. Done. And that is something unique to this butchery, it isn't is. it? You won't find it anywhere. And that, the taste was amazing. Yes, I've tried it's, it. it's exactly the same every time you order it. You know, they say the proof is in the eating. Yeah. And the repeat buying. Let's use the sand sandwich approach. Mm -hmm. The good and the bad. The good and I want to start with the good. All right. Successes in such a business, and mm -hmm. particularly one big one. Mm -hmm. There was one big win you got recently, Anne, mm -hmm. and we both know about it, but I want you to tell me first. So recently, uh, you might have spotted me on a billboard. <laughs> I did. You did? I Where? did. Where was that? On Gong Road. Yeah? Yes. I couldn't believe it. I was screaming. I I'm like, like Anne! 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 It's unreal, it's yeah. unreal. So Sunlight had uh, this campaign where they were supporting women in business. Yeah. I sent my application and I got it. I, the support is uh, amazing. So yeah. I have people calling me and they're like, I saw you somewhere, I saw you somewhere. People who didn't even know I'm in the meat business. Yeah. What did the pig say to the Spanish butcher? Wait, wait, I know it, I know it. Wait, let me think. Wait. <laughs> what did the pig say I, to the Spanish butcher? Por qué? Por qué? <laughs> yeah. Business is not easy. Mm -hmm. What are some of the cons that you've experienced that we can learn from? Number one, the most painful one I do was kill fridge. Okay. Meat is like booze. Mm. I, are you in my head? <laughs> Meat is like booze. I was just about to ask if you, that If question. I give you this 50 kilos of whatever chicken here, um, automation is very important. Okay. So we have processes okay. and systems okay. now in place. Okay. At the time, we were just setting them up. So yeah. that's, that's what happened. Okay. You want to get yourself a team that has the right attitude, good character, and most importantly, a team with integrity. You want your customers to be able to trust that when they call and order online, for example, the way you do, they will receive exactly what they ordered and value for their money. So pilferage is one. Something else? Uh, stock management. Okay. You could understock or overstock. Yeah. Uh, dead stock. Like literally. Stock? Oh yeah, during December. Oh. I was like, Christmas, we are making money. Yes. And then Christmas, everyone in Nairobi went to sh Shags. Noted. Oh yeah. Are there misconceptions about running such a business that mm -hmm. you would like to tell us about? Did you know more women are buying meat than men? I, I can't believe that. Akose, yeah. Akose said, Grandpa, where are you saving? <laughs> women are the ones who are buying meat in homes. I, I know. No, it's yeah. the women who are buying the meat. Yes. 70% of our customers are women. <laughs> that is amazing so now, insight. You, uh, and, and I'm so curious mm -hmm. about pricing. 
How does yeah. one even establish how to price something like this? Yes. Yeah. This industry does not have a price standard per se. There's no butchery that you go to that has the same price as the next. So how you price your products primarily is uh, determined by how you're able to manage your costs. But also, if your meat is high grade, then it cannot cost the same as the lower grade. So I love that you've really even mentioned margins because I would like to ask you. Mm -hmm. Anne, officially, yes. Come on, easy. Uh -huh. Me, me personally, if I decide today to start a butchery business, yes. will I become a rich person? And it's yeah. good to think about it, but yeah. if you go with that in mind, you will you will give up before you're even started yeah. because you first make losses, yeah. uh, staff will first disappoint yeah. you. You know, this talking management, whatever, yeah. you will first learn on the job. So you will lose before you can make money. Okay. okay. However, meat is meat is very personal. Okay. So you see, like the way we have a relationship, you can call me, you're like, I want this and this and this. Really you're, you, and I want it packed in halves and yeah. da 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 da. Yeah. And you, you're sure that's how you're going to get it. It's very personal. Once you find a place that, you know, suits you and serves you, you stay. So over time, then it becomes less hard. Okay. And and so you, if you're looking to make money, you've got to be in it for the long run. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You guys, you've heard it yourselves. Anne had a passion for drumsticks. <laughs> she turned that passion into profit. She has a successful butchery business. And by the end, if I don't have the time to come to the shop, how yes. else can I get this Yama? We are on Glovo, we are on Jumia, Uber Eats. We also have our direct line. You can just call and we'll organize how the meat will get it. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, convenience. I love it. I yeah. love it. I think you guys were in Hallingham and she mentioned that she has other branches. Uh, one in Kiambu. Mm -hmm. You said it's close to four ways? Yes, and it's a total four ways. Um, movers, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. As I've said, this is my personal butchery. This is where I buy meat from. So partnering with Anne here made me happy. I was yeah. very happy that she said, Ivy, I can see what you're doing and what I'm doing. Can we meet up? <laughs> I had to. Can we meet up and do something? Guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any questions for Anne as to how it is to run such a business. Throw them her way. If you want to order some meat, wholesale, retail, this is the person for you. Uh, till next time, bye. To Kapanga, it's really my sweetheart. Come on. And, I should picture a butcher. Mm -hmm. It's five foot three. Five foot three, yeah. What does he weigh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> oh no. Ivy, there's something you forgot to say. What? But it's okay, there's no beef. Ah. <laughs>